Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Today I'm going to be reading about this game. I think it's a game. I've never heard of it, heard of it before, but I found it online. Um, and it sounds pretty interesting. So um, I found a few of them. So basically it's this game. I, again, I think it's a game. I could be wrong. It's called Backrooms. And I found a couple. There's a whole Wikipedia page dedicated to it back, called Backrooms Wiki. So basically um, I found a couple Christmas ones. So, this is kind of where I've never heard of it before. It's kind of confusing or kind of hard for me to explain it. Um, but basically, um, I went on um, Backrooms Wiki when I first heard about it. I went on there and I looked up Christmas. And I found so many levels about Christmas, like Christmassy levels. So, yeah, um, I will be doing a couple videos about different backrooms levels for vlogmas this year so this is just the first one i think i have like four four or five maybe three i don't know something like that um so yeah today i'm going to be reading about backrooms level 224 the picturesque the picturesque christmas forest so i'm just going to talk about the um description um entities so I don't even know what the game is about, but it sounded interesting, so I decided just to make a video about it. And who knows, maybe I might check this game out later, I don't know. Uh, again, I don't e I'm not even sure if this is a game, but by the sounds of it, um, it is. I don't know, but I'm just going to jump right into it. One of the Christmas trees within the deep areas of level 224. So, there's that. Um, level 224 is a sprawling, presumably inf infinite, snow-covered temperate forest that is kept in perpetual twilight and is at a constant minus 1 degrees Celsius. The forest is a mix of deciduous and con conifer trees, but most notably small juvenile spruce, spruce trees that are decorated with Christmas lights of various colors that range from simple white-yellow to rainbow. These Christmas trees are indestructible and are found sporadically throughout the, throughout the level at an average of 15 trees per square kilometer. Footpaths wind and twist through the woods, and there is no evidence of naturally occurring structures or buildings. All wanderers spawn, spawn into the level uh, in a 100 to 115 meter area centered around two Christmas trees. A repeating track of four Christmas carols can be heard throughout the forest at any given time. Silver bells, silent night, jingle bells, and rocking around the Christmas tree. These songs play faintly across the level but get mo noticeably higher in volume when in close proximity approximately to the Christmas trees. Approximately one in three of the festive conifers have brightly wrapped Christmas... I was going to say Christmas trees instead of presents. What the heck? Brightly wrapped presents beneath them, where the gifts can vary in both size and shape as well as what each one contains. A prime source of supplies for wanderers, the president... Uh, the presidents. Oh my goodness. The presents can contain a variety of edibles such as almond water, soda, popcorn, chips, hard candy, or canned soup. Any open and taken gifts will replenish after the level's silent night. While peaceful and safe to explore for the most part, level 224 momentarily becomes a dangerous place once every 12 hours. In a half hour period known as silent night, the lights of all Christmas trees will abruptly turn off. Okay, honestly, this is where it's getting kind of intri more intriguing to me. Okay. And the ambient carols will cease. The forest becomes a dark, silent place except for the faint whispering as a dense fog begins to flood the level. If a wanderer finds themselves exposed to the fog, they will see visions of loved ones telling them to come along with them. Usually compelled to do so, wanderers who accept the invitation will vanish, never to be seen again. The effects of the fog are avoidable, however, if one remains six, within six feet of one of the Christmas trees. Once silent night ends, the Christmas lights and music will return, and the level resumes its normal functions. Entities Silent Night, the enigmatic event that hits the otherwise peaceful level once every 12 hours, lasting for half an hour, the level shuts down while a whispering fog quickly... I just thought I heard something. Anyway, moving on. Floods the entirety of the forest, where any wanderer caught in it will see de detailed visions of loved ones who beckon them to join them in the fog. Entering a state of deep psychosis, the wanderer will usually always accept the invitation. Where would where they then vanish into the mist. Staying with, within six feet of one of the Christmas trees will ward off the effects of the fog, and the purpose of the event is still largely unknown. 
Researchers theorized that it could be the level's way of feeding by using the biomass of wanderers that it absorbs to produce the presence that it replenish afterward. Colonies and Outpost M.E.G. Cantina, Frosty's Tavern A restaurant nearby the spawn point that was built to heavily resemble contemporary casual dining eateries such as Ruby Tuesday or Applebee's. Run by 10 M.E.G. staff members, it offers a variety of dishes such as buffalo wings, soups, and salads, as well as warm drinks like hot chocolate or warm apple cider. Constructed around one of the Christmas trees so that the staff can gather around it when Silent Night occurs. It is a safe place for wanderers to spend some, some time in before they set off the, to set off the explore the explore the level. That doesn't really make any sense to me. I'm I guess it, I'm guessing it means they set off to explore the level. But moving on, MEG outpost Snow Globe One, a small outpost that is around nine miles northwest of the small of the spawn point. Resembling a small wooden shack above ground, opening a secret hatch will lead to a subterranean base that resembles a two-bedroom fallout bunker. Manned by four trained soldiers, the purpose of Snow Globe 1 is to monitor and combat the, camp the Krampus crew. They are regularly supplied and relieved by Frosty's Tavern. The Krampus crew, a hostile nomadic gang of between 8 to 10 wanderers who prowl the forests in search of fellow, wand fellow wanderers to assault, usually armed with various homemade weaponry such as bow bows bows. Okay, bows and spears. They will immer merciless steal from anyone that they come across, and have been and have even been known to kill their victims for fun. Thankfully, level two twenty four is a vast place, so the chance of running into the Krampus crew is low. Although wanderers who do spot them are advised to hide or run if possible. Occasional skim skirmishes with the heavily armed Snow Globe One causes their numbers to drop sometimes. Entrances and exits. Entrances. In level 202, falling through a glacier with a frozen Christmas tree beneath it can teleport one to level 224. Exits entering the occasional isolated winter cabin will lead one to level 128. Okay, 188. No clipping through a conspicuously snowless conifer on this level can lead one to level 240. So I think that is it. Yeah, that's all that's on there. Um, but yeah, that actually kind of sounds interesting the more I read into it, especially the whole Silent Night thing. Um, I might have to look up that game. I, again, I think it's a game, but I might have to look more into it later. But, um, yeah, it kind of sounded intriguing, especially, like I said, when it got to the whole Silent Night part. But, yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. If you would like to see more content from me, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 11. Bye, guys.